All right, all right, all right, guys. It is Thursday, March 17th, 2022 at 5.07 p.m. All right, it's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Let's go to dailyverses.net. Verse of the day it says, Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid. Just believe, and she will be healed. Luke 8.50. All right, so it is St. Patrick's Day. But also, it is Reed Timmer's birthday, so happy birthday to Reed Timmer out there. Great Storm Chaser. Alright, let's take a look. We have from Storm Chaser Nick, a cool little graphic of Donkey Kong in a little Mario Kart over Oklahoma and parts of Texas. Because that's where the bean is. The bean is what I like to call um, the little red possible uh, more severe concentrated weather. I call it the bean. <laughs> Anyways, here's the bean again over Texas here. It says, don't uh, recall the last time you were highlighted in a 30% probabilistic five days out. So five days out, they're already calling out the possibility of the bean or the severe weather over this part of Texas. Five day out is kind of uh, too much time to possibly forecast one, but you never know these days. All right, guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. This is from Karen O'Connor. Yay, St. Patrick's Day. Everyone's Irish tonight. Woo. All right. Also, tonight at 8, 18 p.m. from Brad Panovich, it says, Nice high space station passed tonight. The International Space Station passing over Charlotte and Northern Carolina tonight around 8, 18 p.m. So heads up. All right, let's start. All right, so... Hurricane season is almost upon us. You know what that means, guys? It means it's time to start getting prepared to build your kits or to gather the things you need for hurricane season. I know it's a bit early, but it is always great to start being prepared. You will see me, as I do every year uh, in these past three, uh, four years, um, pretty much say making a plan, build a kit, or start talking about you getting uh, either canned goods together if you have a low budget or start slowly getting uh, a first aid kit or slowly start accumulating the things you need for a possible hurricane this hurricane season because hurricane season starts it's it's a little bit late to start trying to get the things you need once it's already hurricane season and the storms upon you you have to start making a plan and slowly slowly start getting the things you need let's take a look at the basic disaster supplies we need water one gallon per person per day for several days for drinking and sanitation food at least several day supply of non-perishable food battery powered hand crank radio and a NOAA weather radio with with tone alert. Tone alert is important because it gives you that warning and you're able to heed the warning. Um, also, flashlights, first aid kit, extra batteries, whistle to signal for help in case uh, you are in a building, trapped, or in an area where you might signal for help. Dust mask to help filter contaminated air. Plastic sheeting and duct tape to shelter in place. That's very important. One thing that we saw when um, the hurricane season happened in Puerto Rico was that they needed uh, plastic sheeting for their buildings because the roofs were gone and all they had to uh, protect their homes uh, because they had to stay in the location was plastic sheeting or the tarp. Also, moist towelettes, garbage bags, and plastic ties for personal head sanitation. Wrench or pliers to turn off utilities. Uh, that's important when the power goes out or you need to turn off the power of the building because there's flooding or a disaster happens. So pliers is an important tool. Also, manual can opener for food. My tip is don't just buy one can opener. Buy two or three. Keep a couple stashed for just in case one breaks. Uh, also, a good tip for... Uh, the possibility of uh, an apocalypse if something happens uh, to have can openers would be a good commodity to trade these items for trading if you have an extra amount of can openers 
a can opener could be a good trading tool. Also, local maps um, have uh, paper maps because if the power goes out and your phone uh, isn't going to be charged because you lack electricity, local paper maps are important. Also, cell phone with chargers and a backup battery. Uh, I have a charger that's pretty much um, solar powered. I think I bought it for uh, 15 bucks or something online on Amazon. It's a, a solar powered mini charger that you just plug in your USB and it gives you uh, a battery charge just by solar or any light uh, shining upon it. It will charge uh, and give you power. Also has a compass and it has a, a flashlight which is very useful for the price. It was a pretty good deal. But slowly getting uh, prepped for this hurricane season is important. Let's take a look at additional emergency supplies. Since the spring of 2020, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention had recommended people include additional items to their kit to help prevent the spread of coronavirus and other viruses and the flu. We have masks for ages 2 and above, soap hand sanitizer, disinfectant wipes to disinfect surfaces. Uh, prescription medications, about half of all Americans take prescription medicine every day and emergency can make it difficult for them to refill the prescription or to find an open pharmacy. Organize and protect your prescriptions over the counter drugs and vitamins and prepare for an emergency. Also, non-prescription medications such as pain relievers, uh, anti-diarrhea medication, antacids or laxatives, uh, prescription eyeglasses and contact lens solution, infant formula, bottles, diapers, wipes, and diaper rash cream, pet food and extra water for your pet, cash or traveler's checks, also important to the cash one, make sure you have uh, at least a couple amounts of dollars in cash. Uh, you never know if an uh, ATM goes down in the event of a hurricane or uh, now the modern times, an event of a hack. If the ATM goes down and you can't take out money, it's good to have cash out already uh, stored away. All right. Also, important family documents such as copies of insurance policies, identification, bank account records, save electronically or in waterproof portable containers. Always good to get all that paperwork done. That's why it's great to do these things beforehand because of a hurricane's upon you and you don't have time to do any of this stuff. That's why we do it during the spring, uh, right before hurricane season even begins to be a thought. You start uh, planning and getting the things you need ready. Also, the next item is sleeping bags or warm blanket for each person. Uh, complete change of clothing appropriate for your climate and sturdy shoes. So depending on the area that you're at, um, getting the uh, things you need for your climate area. Um, if you live in a swamp area or if you live in a desert area, because the desert area still gets hurricanes out in California uh, when um, the season starts by uh, Baja California, parts of California, Mexico, they get hurricanes as well off the shore there. And they usually start getting the hurricanes before the Atlantic starts. So it's always great to get uh, climate and uh, clo clothing appropriate for your climate. Uh, so it's always great to uh, be prepared and know your region and know the areas that you live. All right, next we have fire extinguisher. We have matches and waterproof container, uh, feminine supplies and personal hygiene items, mess kits, paper cups, plates, paper towels, and plastic utensils. Imagine you're going camping, just have some extra uh, items stored away just in case you have to eat away uh, from uh, a home just in case the home gets destroyed. You never know uh, the things you will need. Also paper and pencil in case you need to write information down as well as books, games, puzzles, or other activities for children. It is always great to keep your kids entertained while um, having disaster situations happen. Uh, you never know uh, if the lights go out and the power's out, if you, if you, if you have a, a game out, you will be entertained and uh, you won't be thinking too much about the things that are happening around you at that moment. It's good to uh, entertain 
entertain. Alright, next, maintaining your kit. After assembling your kit, remember to maintain so it is ready when needed. Keep canned food in a cool, dry place. Store box food in tightly closed plastic or metal containers. Replace expired items as needed. Rethink your needs every year and update your kit as your family needs change. Also, kit storage locations. Since you do not know where you will be when an emergency occurs, prepare supplies for home, work, and cars. Home, keep this kit in a designated place and have it ready in case you have to leave your home quickly. Make sure all family members know where the kit is kept. For work, be prepared to shelter at work for at least 24 hours. Your work kit should include food, water, and other necessities like medicines, as well as comfortable walking shoes stored in a grab-and-go case. For the car, in case you are stranded, keep a kit of emergency supplies in your car. Alright guys, I'm not going to go into what is in every kit but I, I just wanted to cover uh, the build a kit start your things for supplies for the hurricane season let's start looking at what's happening right now this is just uh, preparedness for a uh, hurricane season as well for me because I'm starting to uh, reopen all the things I usually look at when hurricane season is here I'm looking at what's happening right now over the Atlantic and parts of the Pacific um, right now there's storms that are coming off the shore uh, that happened last night over the Carolinas and south, uh, um, the southeast. And it pretty much is uh, quiet right now except for the middle of the country right here. Uh, these uh, clouds passing by. But w if it were hurricane season, I'd be looking right here on the uh, south uh, west part of the map uh, in the Gulf. Uh, of Mexico and in the Yucatan Peninsula. I'd be looking here at the Pacific. I'd be looking at Yucatan Peninsula, which usually starts uh, getting active early, uh, the Yucatan, and then I'll be looking at the uh, off the coast of Africa. So I'm just getting uh, warmed up as well for practice for when hurricane season starts. Let's take a look at off the coast of Africa. So right now, uh, the winds are moving to the east. Usually when the hurricane season starts uh, and the weather starts uh, coming off of Africa, the winds and everything will be coming off of Africa towards the west because they'll be carrying the storms across the Atlantic and they'll be landing either here in the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, parts of Florida. They sometimes skip into the Gulf and hit either Mexico, Louisiana, or anywhere here uh, the Yucatan Peninsula. Also storms start here in the Yucatan Peninsula area here. Let me get my uh, drawing tool so you guys can... Alright, here in the Yucatan Peninsula so you guys can see. Alright. Here, right here in this area is where uh, the warm areas start here off the coast of Mexico at the beginning. That's, those are the areas that you keep an eye out in the beginning of the hurricane season and the possibility of things building here in the, into the Gulf. Um, then when uh, things start coming off of Africa, which happens a little bit towards the middle, towards uh, the hurricane season, uh, more time usually happens before these storms start coming. They come off of Africa and they start heading in this direction. Sometimes they stay a little bit low. Sometimes they go a little bit higher. And that's when, a little bit later into the season, that's when we have to pay attention. Because we could get uh, mainland hits. We can get uh, the Caribbean hit. So that's when we start paying attention and focusing on what's happening. All right. Right now, this is what's happening off the Atlantic. The storms that were over last night um, off of the Carolinas are now passing over New Jersey and parts of Virginia. As you see, there's a little bit of a swirl here, a circulation right there. Um, it doesn't mean that it's a hurricane or anything like that. It's just that circulation is always interesting to look at for people who look at the weather. It's always uh, a captivating thing. All right, so here we have the tropical Atlantic surface plot. Uh, as you see, the air temperature is in red. 
the blue is the pressure, the barometric pressure. Black is the water temperature, and green is the dew points. So this is these are the things that I'm going to be looking at uh, when these things of the hurricane season start happening. All right, right now we have cool water off of South America. That means that La Nina is what we're having this year, upcoming year. So it'll be kind of like last year in the uh, severity of storms. Uh, last year was also a La Nina year. All right, let's take a look. All right, so this is an example of 2015 North Atlantic hurricane season. Um, a lot of storms came off of Africa, as you see here, and started just scooting off towards uh, the uh, Caribbean islands. And some started building off of uh, above Dominican Republic and, st and then just wandered off out back into the Atlantic. But storms uh, start off of Africa, uh, not all of them, some of them, and then they travel towards the west. And that's when we see the possibility of it interfering with land, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, uh, Bahamas, Florida, the Gulf. As you see here, one here, Bill, in the Gulf, started in the Gulf, and then just went up through Texas and then out into the middle of the country. So even people in the middle of the country here over Tennessee and parts of this area here in the middle of the country have to start getting prepared for hurricane season and not as severe as people who live in the coast but it is always great to get prepared because the, the storms go inland all right let's take a look at spaghetti uh storm prediction center here usually i, I like spaghetti uh models.com i i like following uh mike's page he has a lot of good uh concentration of storm uh, information. Here we have the Storm Prediction Center for one day. So tomorrow we have slight over uh, Louisiana, parts of Texas. Uh, let's see, we have slight weather for Oklahoma City, uh, New Orleans, El Plano, Texas, Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana, Garland, Texas, and then we have marginal over Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth, Texas, uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Arlington, Texas, and Irving, Texas. And then we have a tiny bit of slight marginal off the coast here of Virginia, as I showed you the swirl that was happening off the coast. And off the tip of Miami here, we have uh, as well marginal. Let's take a look at the day two outlook. Wow, boom, there's a red bean right there. All right, so we have Enhanced for Mobile, Alabama, Pensacola, Florida, Ferry Pass, Florida, Pritchard, Alabama, Wright, Florida. We have possibility of severe weather here off the Florida Panhandle and off of um, Alabama. Parts of Georgia as well experiencing slight uh, as well as Mississippi and parts of Louisiana, parts of Tennessee. Even up there in Kentucky, we're having slight uh, marginal possibility of weather up there. We have Nashville, Tennessee, New Orleans, Louisiana, Louisville, Kentucky, Birmingham, Alabama, and Montgomery, Alabama, possibly experiencing slight, uh, what, um, slight to severe weather uh, on March 17th, day two. And then we also have marginal extending out over North Carolina and parts of South Carolina and Georgia as well here. We have Columbus, Ohio, Memphis, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Lexington, uh, Fayetteville, Kentucky. So we're having these uh, uh, s uh, possibly severe weather and this is just preparedness for what could happen when hurricane season starts. The things that happen with hurricane season is uh, the coast. You watch the coast for flooding uh, in the coast. You watch for uh, mudslides and uh, rain. You watch for um, severe strong winds, power outages. Um, we look for all these kind of things when the hurricane season starts. So these are just examples because this is just a uh, possibility of tornado season here uh, beginning in parts of the southeast. As you know, a lot of people are chasing right now. Reed Timmer, whose birthday it is, is also chasing. All right, so remember to build a kit. I will leave you guys a link for that in the description so you guys can take the time and look at the things you need to start looking uh, to start building your hurricane kits. 
Alright guys, I'm getting prepared for hurricane season even though we still have 56 or 59 days until we start really looking into the Atlantic. Just getting prepared and getting everybody ready because I'm going to be releasing a lot of videos concerning hurricanes and concerning uh, severe weather. Alright guys, see you guys next time. God bless you guys.